Hello everybody and welcome to Outdoors Britain. In this episode we're going for another rabbit shoot down at the golf course permission. We've got to make a quick stop off at the petrol station then we can get on our way. See you when we get there. And we've landed at the golf course permission. Now, I'm going to do the usual, put out a target, check my zero and go and see if the golf is finished. See you in a bit. Right, sit rep. I can't finish checking my zero yet because there is still one person out there playing golf. But, as you can see, he is about to uh, tee off from the last tee on this course. So once he's done and gone, we can crack on. Can he get a hole in one? Not bad, bad at all. Great. And we have our first wanderer. Has he got a dog? Or is he just out for a wander? I think he's just out for a wander. Yeah. That's a shame, because that's right where I wanted to try and start. Right, I've checked my zero, and uh, it did need a bit of adjustment because I had the rifle apart earlier and gave the barrel a clean so I knew it was going to need a bit of adjustment but it seems to be alright now so uh, yeah I'm going to get out in this last bit of daylight and hopefully, hopefully the next bit of footage you see will be from the pod let's see how it goes Well, it's back to the car, but not for a brew. To be honest, I'm a bit annoyed because it's going to be more expenditure. Um, yeah, I've just uh, I've just sort of confirmed my suspicions. Um, there is something wrong with my rifle. Um, I'm going to be honest. Over the last few shoots that I've been on, probably the last sort of month, six weeks. I've actually missed quite a lot of rabbits and couldn't understand why and uh, of course it started happening again tonight I've checked my zero Need, you know, it needed adjusting so I've adjusted it and uh, got it spot on got out in the field tried to shoot one right on the zero distance missed it you know uh, tried to shoot another one at 45 yards missed it which shouldn't have happened you know I can you know, normally I can drop them at any distance out to sort of 50, 50 odd yards, you know. Only, um, yeah, I've just come back to the car and uh, put a target back out under torchlight, and um, yeah, sure enough, my uh, point of impact has moved, and um, it's uh, it's gone from doing penny size groups at 50 yards to a penny size group at 30 yards if I'm lucky and uh, low and to the right now I'm starting to think it m the point of impact shift might be down to the uh, 
ZB Light Pro Universal mount that I'm using for the pod because when you're pressing the buttons on the pod they are on top and to the left so the force of me pushing the buttons is effectively pushing the pod or putting tension or pressure whatever you want to call it on the pod diagonally down and to the right which is exactly where my shots are, are starting to land and I'm starting to wonder is that ZB mount any good or should I bin it and get an eagle vision I really don't know um, but as for the rifles grouping issues I've also had the uh, silencer off just to make sure it's not pellets clipping the silencer everything's tight I know everything's tight because I, uh, I actually had the barrel off and cleaned it earlier again hoping to try and sort out this accuracy problem um, yeah so I think what I'm gonna do is uh, send it off back to the company that fettled it for me last time and it came back shooting penny sized groups last time they had a look at it so uh, yeah I think I'm gonna send it to them which is a company called the Ratworks by the way anyway I'm gonna call it quits and head for home before I start injuring rabbits because like he says on Ponty Paul pest control don't be mean and kill them clean you know I don't want to be out there injuring things that's the last thing I want to do you all know me I would like to drop them stone dead anyway I'm gonna get off and uh, head for home see you when I get there and tonight just gets better and bloody better. We've got a police roadblock in front of us. I've no idea why, I've no idea what's going on. <sighs> Who knows? Safe to say tonight is a total write-off. And as if it couldn't get any bloody worse for me tonight. We've got a lovely flat tyre. Wonderful. Tonight couldn't get any bloody better, could it? I've only just got this back on the road after four months. Yeah, I've had enough of tonight. This is just a disaster. There you go, that's what it's got in it. Wonderful. Just my bloody luck. Just hoping and praying that it actually pumps back up. Guess what? It didn't pump back up. Now I've got to drive home on a stupid little pram wheel space saver. I just want to go home <sighs> and I'm home I don't really know what else to say about tonight to be honest it's certainly been a bit of a disaster um, how can I end this on a positive um, I suppose it gives me an excuse to get the HW100 KT out now um, yeah I suppose that's about it really I really hope you've enjoyed this video, that is the end, thank you for watching.